Hello everyone, this is Richard Sispidiz, and I wanted to um, uh, upload a video. This should be the last one of my uh, theory, but it's more complex and more dense than what it is. Um, I want to talk about um, one of the reasons why um, <clears throat> um, um, one person can defeat the other person. You see, I'm not trying to say that you should go out there and, um, and instigate fights because of this um, concept, but... Um, if the person is confronting you, then you know that person is in the wrong because they're trying to outlive a theatrical um, aspect of something that they've seen. They're trying to live um, too much in the the mental state of theatrics and the concept of fighting, and not the actual and the, the actual um, an actual um, belief of what fighting really is. You know, I want to talk about uh, Manny Pacquiao and and Mayweather. Because Manny Pacquiao is a quite uh, a unique individual compared to a lot of fighters. I, even though he's small, he's a real good fighter. And um, <clears throat> I want to talk about the certain facts. The certain obvious facts that uh, seem to back up my concept. You know, one thing is, is that Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao's punching power, the power that they have to knock out, you know, to hurt their opponent, is no more stronger than anyone else's in the world. The only thing that makes them more stronger is um, the ability to see through uh, their opponent. Now Mayweather has had a good, strong uh, career. He's had this concept for a while, seeing through his opponent, seeing through the spectacle of the situation. But um, Manny Pacquiao seems to have much more of a organic truality of what I'm trying to portray the true organic rooted um, aspect of my um, of my theory of what how in fighting is in a in a, in, a, in a given in, in a given conflict in whatever conflict he's the one that really represents my concept more than any other fighter that I've seen and also um, Anderson Silva also represents that that concept too they seem to see through the opponent. They see through um, the spectacle of the situation itself. Um, they allow themselves to fight truthfully and not try to reenact anything that they've seen on TV or let their emotions get involved in the situation. Again, you have to detach yourself emotionally from the situation and see this past tense. You know, you have to see this past tense. Now, um... One example of that is that, let's say, for instance, this is kind of a little crazy thing. I spoke about this in my other video, but let's say, for instance, that you went back into the past and you um, got into a conflict within a fighter in the 1930s or 40s. You would probably win that fight. Not only The reason why you would win that fight is because you, your mental state is already in a heightened level. You know, for one thing... You've already seen in your present and in, in, in your present era, your present years, 2014. Everybody's seen the black and white, you know, boxing bully, bully. Come on, you know those boxing guys back in the 1940s, 1930s. You know, back then they had a different mindset. That was how they fought. That was how they controlled their fear of fighting. But they still lived in the theatrics even back then, the theatrics of fighting. But um. <clears throat> But like if you were to go back then and fight someone in the 1940s or 30s, you would already be in a heightened mental state of fearlessness and seeing through them and the situation and being emotionally detached, but also seeing it as past tense because it is past tense. You see, you have to consider the modern uh, confrontation as something that's already occurred that you've already witnessed that you can... Uh, um, you can see into the almost the future of what the person's gonna do because you see through them. You see the things coming. You know, you have no fear for them. So when you're fighting the person nineteen thirties, you already seen all the boxing fights, you've seen all the goofiness, you've seen the cartooniness of the fights. You're gonna beat that person because even the regular Joe of now, regular Joe person living in the US with just some formal experience, some idea, can beat up a person from the nineteen forties, even the top boxers of the 1940s and 30s because you're more superior mentally you see through the situation you see through the person you see through the facade of the person you you, you detach yourself emotionally um and and you see the whole situation as past tense that's what you're trying to do in a modern now era 
of, of a confrontation that's occurring that might occur in your life. You have to use that mental state and, um, and uh, enable that in a, in, in a modern situation of conflict. You have to see as you would have in the past, traveling the past, boxing, fighting an old boxer, a champion boxer, world champion boxer, beating him and using that to fight any person in the modern era. You have to utilize that mental state in the modern era, that vision, that blinder vision, that narrow vision, and just have yourself in a state you could beat anyone, even without any... And see what I'm saying is that that Joe has... A lot of them don't have a muscle. They don't. They have a gut. And yet they can beat up that person from the past. That person in the past is supposed to be the highest caliber of the strongest tough man. You have to consider the highest caliber of the strongest tough man that's now as a person that's past tense. As you would of a person in the past. That's the mental state that you have to constantly be in. That's how you win fights is when you see through, see the modern era as something that's past. And see them as something that's old and black and white and you can beat that person because you're seeing through the situation. You're detaching yourself emotionally. You're um, a spectator that's um, emotionally and mentally seeing from a distance, but physically you're all there. You know what I'm saying? It's like two things going on. Going on. You're, a, you're, you're viewing everything around you as a spectator, as an as a, as a audience on television, as an audience viewing things on a, on, on a theater or in television. But at the same time, you're there in reality and you're reacting to the conflict. And you're seeing things coming. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. <clears throat> One other thing is that, um, to go back to Manny Pacquiao, his punches are no more stronger and tougher than, Ma and, than the May Mayweather's. When Manny Pacquiao goes in and delivers a punch to Mayweather, which he will because he sees through Mayweather, he uses the same concept of traveling to the past and bringing in a da da and seeing through the situation of the conflict of fight. Not only is he going to deliver the punches, but the reason why the punches will be delivered, the reason why the bruises will occur, the reason why a knockout can ca happen or Mayweather will hit the canvas is because he sees through the situation, but he's also uh, psychologically and emotionally attacking Mayweather's spirit. Why? Because he sees through the facade of who Mayweather is because of the concept, the subconscious concept in which Manny Pacquiao is not even aware of that he's using that. <clears throat> so not only is he hurting Mayweather physically, but he's also hurting the spirit and the character and personality of Mayweather mentally and spiritually. That's what you have to do in a fight, you know, because their punches are no more stronger. No person's punches are stronger than anyone else's. What's, what matters is the mental state of who, the, who you're fighting against, who your opponent, what mental state they're in, and what mental state you're in. That's what makes uh, <clears throat> fights, um, that's what makes a certain victor um, come out on top. One other thing, too, is that people forget is that the institutions, the UFC and the boxing, they're all built upon the, the lame, weak, um, balsa wood foundations of theatrical um, trying to promote fights. Why is it that all fights, boxing and UFC, they're all glitz and glamour and, and flashy co commercials and like drinking beer and spending money and gambling and seeing sports stars and celebrities and singers and actors in the front row, you know, because those institutions.